The Sean Woods Show is brought to you by Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. The Citizens Bank, Moorhead's only locally owned bank. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods. Lakeside Christian Academy in Moorhead, educating for eternity. Visit us online at lakesidechristianacademy.org. Standifer Builders, commercial and residential paving in West Liberty. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet Buick GMC. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. The Ira Kilburn Law Office. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength in our community for more than 100 years. North Cut and Son Home for Funerals, serving others as we would like to be served since 1976. And J.W. Wood and Quality Staves in Wallingford, proud to be part of Eagle Nation. Hi, everyone, and welcome in to this edition of the Sean Woods Show from the campus of Moorhead State University. And today, from the Lynn Miller Room here at the Academic Athletic Center, as always, alongside the Eagle basketball coach, I'm David Patrick. And Sean, as we speak, as, as Eagle fans are watching this show on Sunday afternoon, the regular season is wrapped up. Now, as we are taping this show, we don't know what seed we're going to have in the OVC tournament, but what we do know is we're headed to Nashville. Well, we are, David, and uh, you know we're looking forward to it. We've been on the road here as of late, and hopefully after the show we've been one, two games on the road at Tennessee Tech and at also Jacksonville State, but we're looking forward to it. You know, it's, I think the OVC tournament is wide open. I don't think there's a, a dominant team. I mean, we've all been beating up on each other all year, but uh, our guys, I think, are at a great place right now. We uh, Starting to, you know, get a little more healthier. We're not fully healthy, of, 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 you know, of course, but we're getting there, and uh, as, as well as can be. And hopefully, it's enough uh, to get us over the hump to win the, to win the OVC tournament. Last season, Sean, you peaked at the right time, played very well at the end of the season, and, and had a great performance in Nashville. Well, we did, and it's almost uh, deja vu, same way this year, and hopefully we can get over the hump. We don't have to play a Cameron Payne who's playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Right? And playing well, getting, getting lots of playing time. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, I like our chances, David. We just got to keep it going and continue to defend like we have been. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll talk more about the upcoming Ohio Valley Conference Tournament right here on the Sean Wood Show. Welcome back into the Sean Wood Show here on the CW Lexington. And, and Sean, we, we talked about heading to the OVC tournament. And uh, I, I'm telling you, there's no clear cut favorite. You've got a handful of teams that can win this thing. Oh, no doubt about it. You got Belmont, you know, you got uh, UT Martin, you have us, you have Tennessee Tech, you know, you have uh, Tennessee, Tennessee State. State. So it's, it's going to be a barn burner. It's, it, but that's what college basketball is all about, David. It's good to go into a tournament like that because in past years, you know, Murray has been the overwhelming favorite. But when you go into a tournament that is wide open like this one, it makes it fun and the fans enjoy it. Oh, no doubt about it. You know, and I like our chances just as much as any, and I think our fans do too. I mean, they got to see us play some of our best basketball against some of the, the best teams in our league uh, the last couple of weeks. And I think they're excited and very optimistic about the tournament also. You look at Belmont, uh, probably the overall number one seed, and they're a team that you beat here. You could have beaten on the road, so you know that you can play with the best as according to records. Well, yeah, and uh, you know we feel good about it, and uh, we just got to continue to defend, David. You know, take care of our business. If we play the way we're supposed to play. Uh, I like our chances against anybody in our conference. Talk about where your team is right now. What do you like about your team? Well, we're defending. You know, I think we're, we're, we're feeling fresher. I think we're keyed in. I think we're focused and very hungry to win a championship. And, uh, you know, everybody's coming to work business-like. And uh, we're having fun doing it, too. But we're defending like no other, like we were at the beginning of the year. And that's what I like about our team right now. You've been harping on defense all year, and it's progressed, and, and it's got better. And I think right now, Sean, you're playing the best defensive of you have any time of the season. Well, we were really good early, you know, against those, you know, except for Pitt and maybe Indiana. I thought we defended all those other teams as good as anybody. And that's why we were, like, in the top 15 in, in defensive field goal percentage. And now we're getting back to being stingy like that again, really keeping the ball in front, limiting guys teams to one shot 
uh, holding them way under their scoring averages and field goal percentages. So uh, we got to continue to do that in order to win a championship. Talk about the health of your team. That's a concern, Corbin Collins, and uh, he, he, he's struggling right now. Well, he's getting better. You know, hopefully he'll be ready to play in the tournament. But, you know, we're taking our time with him. I think Moon's ankle's better. Um, Miguel Descent is getting healthier and getting into the groove a little bit. We got some other guys that have some knickknacks, you know, that we got to get over. But, you know, all in all, we gave him a couple of days off last week, and hopefully that works. Stay with us. Much more on the Sean Wood Show straight ahead. Welcome back into the Sean Wood Show on this Sunday afternoon on the CW Lexington. And time now to take a look at highlights of Moorhead State's matchup on the road Thursday night at Tennessee Tech with video courtesy of Tennessee Tech Athletics and the OVC Digital Network. It's Maitland. He zips a deflection over to Alici. Now the freshman point guard in place of Collins right underneath the shot will go and a foul as well. Lionel gains the Louisville native. Now the pass is taken away and Eagles force a turnover. It's Maitland right underneath and Alici makes it 6-0. So a Moorhead strong start to this one. And Moorhead up to this point three out of nine. Maitland. Shot clock winding down, Alici the touch and the finish right underneath. Ryan Martin who comes in second on the tech team with 14 points per game. He gets on the scoreboard. And now Maitland drives it, blocked by Anthony Morse. Arrington, he'll take the three and bury it. And now Arrington kicks outside, three-pointer descent finds the bottom of the barrel. He goes into the corner for Miguel Descent, and the sophomore directs a little bit of traffic. Marrero, he'll go in with the left and finish with the left. Holton Eagles, which has scored the last six points of the contest. Rogers, some space, fires, and drills a three-pointer. It's down to a one-possession ball game. Tech enjoying a 9-0 spurt. So we're just about at the seven minute mark here inside the Hooper Ablin Center. Rowe, this one for the lead, gets fouled as well. Torrance Rowe, a chance for a four point play. It's allowed the Golden Eagles to get right back into this one and take the slight edge that we see. It's Martin, he tries the baseline. Martin off the window and through. One. Also led by as many as four. It's a key 21 to four surge by Tech. Jumped him right back into it and gave them the brief cushion. Morehead State though responded. Now Maitland strokes home the three. Four of seven from distance. Dugovich, he will take the jumper. Won't get it to drop in and Morehead State will have it. Maitland charges towards the bucket, the pass underneath, and the finish goes home by Gaines. And remember, Morehead State doing this without their leading scorer, who misses his third consecutive game. LSU transfer, which averages 11.8 points per game. He's also second in the OVC in assist-to-turnover ratio. Arrington maneuvers and scores from in close. Rebounded Arrington. And an opportunity to get it to double digits to lead. Here underneath, Marrero gets the hook to fall. He's fouled as well. To Hugovich. Zipped underneath, it's popped away. Remains with Alexa, who then gets his pocket pick. Maitland comes away. Over to Gaines, up and under, and through. Thomas. Through traffic, and another Tech turnover. It's Maitland, now Gaines, and he finishes for Morehead State's largest lead tonight. Eagles by 14. Now descent goes free throw line. Pass goes right underneath. No on the finish, but Alici, second effort. So just like that, back to a double-digit lead. He controls here, 15 on the shot clock. And he'll reset the offense. Towards Rowe. Rowe, step back. The jumper is through. 
It's down to four, the closest they've been in the second half. It's the senior Arrington. Moon fires a deep two and strokes it through. Clutch shot by Moon makes it a three possession contest. Hugovic, he'll fade away and miss the jumper, rebounded Arrington. Maitland, Arrington, throws the layup in, Moorhead State by nine. Moorhead well, State is going to march into Cookville. A team has not defeated the Golden Eagles inside the hoop all season long. That is now going to come to a close. Chance to become the fourth team in program history to roll out a perfect season here at the Eblin Center. That will be denied, and that will be your ball game. Tennessee Tech falls 69-59. Welcome back into the Sean Wood Show on the CW Lexington. Time now to take a look at highlights of the Eagles game versus Jacksonville State on the road last night, courtesy of Jacksonville State Athletics and the OVC Digital Network. Greg Tucker makes both free throws. It's four to nothing. Gaines way outside, backdoor cutter. He feeds Maitland, reverse layup, got it to go. Cunningham somehow couldn't block the shot. Watson outside, open spot on the perimeter for three. Shot no good. Rebound, and here they come. Maitland down to the trailer. He'll feed it back to the go, and a three-point try up and in from Xavier Moon. Trying to spread the floor out a little bit. Now he'll come behind the screen up top, dribbles. Going to go to the baseline, kick it to the man coming down the lane. Gaines, he'll bank it up and in. Cunningham fouled him. That'll be his second, team second. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play try here. Oh, he almost drugged the pivot foot there, did Maitland, but he stopped. Came to a standstill. He'll drive, get in the lane. The floater, it's good, and one coming for him. So he took him off the dribble defensively. Eric Mims with a foul call. Count the basket. Let's see who drew the foul here. The Gamecocks, one of their last five. Moorhead State, over their last five, one of their last seven. They haven't scored in three minutes, 27 seconds. Arrington picks Townsend's pocket, feeds it ahead to Lionel Gaines, who will jam it in, and they'll try it at 14. Arrington out on the right side's got it. Trying to work on the perimeter, picks up the dribble, looks for help, swings it up top, and they get it up top. That's Beeman who's in the game for them. Ronnie Beeman, now to Moon, long three, got it. Does Xavier Moon as he knocks it down. Tucker shot too strong, it's out of there, no good. James Green not real happy. Uh-oh, Statham didn't hustle back. He got beat. James Green immediately a timeout. He's going to make a substitution. So the Gamecocks after the triple by Tucker and cut it to six. Get the ball back here with 6-10 to go into half. Bounce pass at the free throw line. Townsend feeds Tucker. Step back, three-point try. Got another one up there. Tucker's hit two in a row. He's got 16 in the first half. Outside now to Bogan. Bogan to Tucker. Tucker got seven on the shot clock. He'll shoot a long three off the dribble and gives Jacksonville State the lead with a make. Dribbles and dribbles, looking to the baseline. He'll go down low the blocks to Gaines. Skips it up top to Lamontre Harris, out to Maitland. A catch, a long three. That's off the mark, no good. Boom, the rebound and follow, got it. The young man out of Goodwater gives it down low. He'll feed Iolici back outside. Moon left wide open, three ball, got it. Boy, he made him pay there. And James Green all over, Greg Tucker. Maitland's got it, dishes left side to Xavier Moon, back outside to Maitland, 16.05 to play. They lead by one, Maitland drives it into the post area, dishes it off to Illichi, backing it in on Cunningham, just muscled it in at 2.35 against the smaller guy and banked it up and in. Gamecocks, 44-43 lead. Driving Moon, the high floater off the back of the iron, no good, but Gaines there to follow it up and in. And just like that, they lead 45-44. Stay inbounded out high to Illichi. He'll go to DeWan Marrero, who's in there. He'll bang into Watson, no foul call. They'll pitch it to Moon, shot fake. Went around Tucker, open jump shot, knocks it down. And they lead by three, 47-44 the count now. They lead it. Now dribbles it left side. He'll pitch to Townsend. Jaquil back in right now as Bogan's out of there. Jaquil up top, drives on Illichi, stops, feeds inside, Cunningham, another stuff. He went right over the top of Arrington and put it down. 47-46, Cunningham, four points, three rebounds, and a couple of blocks on the afternoon now for Jacksonville State. Crick, I check it, he's got one block. Moon goes baseline, pull up jumper, gets free again and knocks it down. Inbounds pass to the corner, Arrington, a shot fake, but didn't put up a shot. 
He's going to work on Durham, go baseline, feed it back to Trashad Williams, who just stepped in, and he'll jam it in. Rebound. He missed time the jump trying to get another one, did Cunningham. And they get it back. Oh, Arrington, nice. Smooth move to the basket. Shot it off the mark. No good. Williams a rebound and follow. Put it up and in. They lead by 7, 61-54 with 6.40 to play in the contest. Bogan, Tucker, Durham, Hamilton, and Cunningham, Jacksonville State. Arrington going to go baseline. Swings it out. Marrero to the corner descent. Three ball in the air, and he got it. Bogan didn't rotate over in time to get to him to get a hand up. Working the right side. It's Maitland. Now to Miguel Descent. Descent. Fakes right, went left behind the ball screen. Hesitates, dribbles, skies, stops, turn jumps, and rattled it around and dropped it in. Did Miguel descent? 82 71. They dribble across the timeline and they'll dribble it out. Moorhead State wins it, splits the season series with Jacksonville State. They'll head to the OVC tournament. Jacksonville State season done here for 2015 2016. Eagles win it 82 71. Welcome back into the Sean Wood Show. And, Sean, it's so important for Eagle Nation to show up in, in Nashville and support this basketball team. Oh, no doubt, because you know Belmont fans are going to be there because they're in Nashville. You know Murray's fans are going to be there because they're right up the road. And Tennessee State's right in Nashville. Tennessee Tech's about 35, 40 minutes from Nashville. So we need... Our Eagle, we need Eagle Nation to take a drive. But you know what, though? There's been a lot of students coming up to me asking about, you know, we used to take a bus. Yes. But unfortunately, we can't take it this year. But uh, still, we got to find a way to get the, all these radical fans who really want to be a part of our success uh, to get to Nashville. So uh, hopefully we can make some type of accommodations. If not, we still need you, Eagle Nation, to find a way to get there because the more of you uh, show, uh, showing up, the more it, it, it really it, it, it enlightens us to do what we need to do from a spiritual and, 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 and enthusiastic standpoint to win this tournament. I know the MSU Alumni Association uh, always works very hard to get fans in Nashville. They will have a, a function before the first game, an alumni function at Municipal Auditorium, and, and that's good because their involvement helps your basketball team. Oh, without a doubt. Whenever you see a bunch of Moorhead fans at any place on the road, really does our heart good. So we got to continue to build on that, and hopefully we'll get enough students to go to to, to have a, a, a really good fan base like Tech, Murray, and Belmont and Tennessee State because they're right there. This is going to be fun. The OVC tournament, uh, the, the Municipal Auditorium is, is really the perfect place for it. Not too big, not too small. It's just right for the conference tournament. Your players look forward to this, don't they, Sean? Well, they look forward to the tournament, no doubt about it. You know, it's a chance to be in one shining moment. And, uh, you know, it's going to take three days to do it. And hopefully we, we can, you know, punch our ticket going to the, to the dance. Sounds good. Thank you so much for watching this week on the Sean Wood Show. And, and next week, it'll be the special OVC Tournament Edition, so don't you dare miss that next Sunday afternoon right here on the CW Lexington. On behalf of the Eagle Basketball Coach, I'm David Patrick, and we will see you next week right here on the Sean Wood Show. The Sean Wood Show has been brought to you by Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. The Citizens Bank, Moorhead's only locally owned bank. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods. Lakeside Christian Academy in Moorhead, educating for eternity. Visit us online at lakesidechristianacademy.org. Standard for Builders, commercial and residential paving in West Liberty. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet Buick GMC. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. The Ira Kilburn Law Office. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength in our community for more than 100 years. North Cut and Son Home for Funerals, serving others as we would like to be served since 1976. And J.W. Wood and Quality Staves in Wallingford, proud to be part of Eagle Nation.